Hi everybody, uh, we are going to start now with the term number 3 and week 1. It goes from July 6th to July the 10th and the year is 2020. Our objective is to discuss important events about athletes, sports and competitions. Okay, we are going to continue with the same book we were working uh, on the second term. Okay, it's the book number two, and we are going to start with the start with the page fifty-eight. Exercise one says, "Which are your favorite sports? Write three sports and the reasons why you like them. Compare your answers with with two classmates. Okay, the name of three sports and the reasons why you like them. Please, that's what you are going to do. Very good." Exercise 2. Go to your digital awesome reader and writer and read He who dares wins. Write in the organizer below five words from the text and their definitions in your own words. Work with a classmate and read your definitions only. Try to guess each other's words. This is an exercise we are going to do in the virtual class. Exercise 3. Using the words from exercise 2, write five sentences related to the text. Three of your sentences should be true and two should be false. Exchange with a classmate and guess which is true and which is false. Page 59. Exercise 4. Discuss the following questions with a classmate. We are going to discuss this in the virtual class too. Do you, wa do you watch the Soccer World Cup? Do you only watch your country's matches or all of them? Why do you think people get interested in it? Can soccer change people's lives? Okay. Exercise 5 is a listening activity and it says listen to two friends talking about soccer. Match each phrase below using no more than two words. Okay. Homeless World Cup is the name of the of the listening. So you just have to match. Okay. Numbers one to four to letters A to D. Exercise six. Listen to the track again and complete the phrases using no more than two words. Okay. Have to complete. Sentences 1 to 5, according to the Audio Homeless World Cup. Exercise 7. Write some ideas about a sport you like or a sporting event. Include some of the information below. Okay. What are the information that you can include? The name of the event, the organization that is in charge of it, who participates and how you know about it. Okay. Very good. Exercise 8. Take turns reading out loud your ideas from exercise 7 to a classmate. Pretend you don't understand your classmate and ask for reformulation and repetition using the phrases you completed in exercise 6. This is something we are going to do in the virtual class. Page 60. Exercise 1. Work in groups of three. Remember that if we cannot work, if we cannot work in groups, we just can do it individually. Look at the pictures below and discuss the following questions. Do you know a sport from your country? Have you ever watched or played it? What are the rules? Okay. Listen to a conversation between two teenagers about a ball game tournament. Fill in the information below. What is the name of the listening? It says more than a national sport. Okay. Very good. You just have to fill in the information uh, there in the, in the blanks, in the spaces. Okay. Exercise three. Listen again and match, match each sentence below with its correct ending. More than a national sport is the... Uh, audio that we are listening to. Okay, we have four numbers, four letters, and you just have to match with a line. Try to use different colors. Okay, 
so it's more organized. Exercise 4. Read the following text about soccer and complete it, writing for the more, therefore, nevertheless, and otherwise. These are very important connectors. If you don't know how to use these connectors, you can find out more information in the web. How, how, how we can use furthermore, therefore, nevertheless, and otherwise. Very, very useful connectors in your writing processes. Write a short paragraph in your notebook describing a sport or a game that not everybody know, knows well. For example, not, uh, not soccer or basketball. Okay? Use the words in the previous exercise to explain your ideas. Okay? Very good. On the page 61. Work in pairs. Decide which of these sports you practice the most at school. Athletic, soccer, wrestling, volleyball, baseball or boxing. Exercise 7. Read Karina's email to a friend describing an Argentinian sport. Answer the following the, the questions below. Add one more question and ask a classmate to answer it. We have four different questions and then you have to add one more question of your own. Okay, this is the email that you have to read in order to develop the exercise. Let's continue with the, uh, number eight. Read Karina's email again and find the three suggestions she gives about soccer. Write them in the space below. We are going to write in this space the three suggestions she gives about soccer. Exercise now. Nine, tell a classmate about your favorite hobby using the instructions below. Give a short description of it. Say why you like it. Give some suggestions for doing it and enjoying it more. Okay. And finally, on page 62, discuss the following questions. What is a professional athlete's life like? Do you think it is hard to become a professional athlete? What is the hardest part of being one? Exercise 2. Listen to an interview with a journalist and answer the questions below. This is another listening exercise. Uh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. These questions in the exercise number one, okay, uh, you have to answer the, the questions to write the answers. Uh, your opinion on these questions, okay. And it is not necessary to find a person to discuss these questions. May maybe in the virtual class we will do that. Okay. Exercise 2 is a listening. Only listen to it to the si uh, and then you answer the six uh, questions in these spaces. Exercise 3. Listen again and answer the questions below. Add one more of your own and ask a classmate to answer them. What is the name of the audio athletes as an example? Okay, answer the four, the four questions and then you add one more. Exercise four, match the three columns to make complete sentences. Look carefully at the person who does the action and who is affected by the action. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.